sweet friends. Today is going to be a beautiful day. Right now it is 25 degrees. It is very chilly, but the sun is beautiful. It is going to be 67 degrees today. It's going to be a lovely day. Hello, my friends. Um, I just wanted to show you, I flipped my table around in the other direction. I put it lengthwise here instead of lengthwise out towards, you know, my kitchen here. What I'm going to do to make me get busy with the watercolor paint, I am going to set up a spot to get started at some point getting this done to practice with the watercolor. I'm just moving everything off of the table, even the placemats, because I don't want to get paint on them. So I'm going to set them aside. And push this back so I could keep that there. I saved a piece of cardboard that I'm going to set here on the table to protect it. Let me see if I can bring you closer. All right. So I have some cardboard. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to give it a try. I have... Let me check here. I have my paper here. I think I'm going to start with a larger piece since I'll be just practicing, doing practice sheets. So I'm just going to get this open. And I'm going to put a piece of that right on there. I'm going to set both aside because I may need more. I'm not going to be doing it on camera as of yet. Um, also, I have my paints here. I did do the swatches of the colors on this top part. That is what the colors look like on top there. That way I'll know. So I'm going to set that here. Also, different paint brushes that came with the kit. There's a total of 10 counting this one. I'm just going to keep them aside for now. What I need to do, I'm going to try This is new masking tape. I don't know if it's going to work for me, but it's worth the try. I got to get, get it started. Alright, I got to get rid of this piece.
what I'm going to do is tape the ends. to keep it in place. Okay. That way, that way it's not moving around a lot when I'm trying to paint or doodle. Whoops. This works perfect. One more. Okay. Now this is not going to move this May, but I have no choice. I don't really have a old tablecloth or anything. I just want to protect my table because it can stain. The paint can stain. So we got that there. I also have a jar that I saved from Pickles. To fill with water. I have my spray bottle to wet the paints. And I have a mixing tray. So if I want to mix any colors, I could do it in here. I have 8 by 11 paper, which is here, set up, ready to go. And I have a bunch of 5 by 7s. I showed you that in an, early, an earlier video. So all I have to do when I'm ready is fill up my jar. I'm going to have to wait and save enough Save for another jar of an empty. Otherwise, I have an old Cool Whip container that I'm going to use as a backup water. I think I'll use one for just wetting the brush. And that one will be for, you know, a dirty brush, rinsing it off. All right. I've been watching tutorials and they say the best way to get started is to get familiar with the brushes. And they did show this one, which is a number 10 round. And they say to start by using it from the tip and making lines almost like grass, it'll be nice and thin. Practice doing that. They said to practice doing an S shape, a slight S shape, it's not a full S, it's a lengthy S. So I'm gonna try stuff like that. I'm gonna try to do what they said, there's a leaf that they show you how to do, where you start at the tip And as you slide it from the tip, you push down to the belly and then lift up. And that's supposed to be a, a, a leaf. So I'll be practicing a bunch of that stuff. Once I start uh, being able to make 
like some of the shapes and the leaves and petals or whatever, uh, I will show you. But I think with this set up out here, it'll give me more. It'll get me to want to get up, you know, sit here and get it done and try it. Because I'm still watching the tutorials all the time. And I'm like, oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. And I have to do it. But these colors are perfect. They're beautiful. So, I just thought I would share that with you. So this is what the setup looks like. The paper is taped down. The paints are out. My containers for water, the spray bottle. The mixing palette. Perfect. And then the extra paper over there. All right. So that's a start. We'll see what happens. I may get some practice done today. Not on camera, not on video, but I plan on trying to get something done. See what I can do with it. Good morning, sweet friends. It is the following day. Yesterday got away from me. It went so quick. I didn't get to finish filming anything. I got sidetracked. So this is the following day. I, you saw, as you saw, I just got out of bed. It was hard to get up. It is a very cold morning. I just put the heat on. And now, as always, the first thing I do is make my coffee. You'll see that I'm putting the light on and off. It looks very cloudy and foggy when I put the light on. So I'm back and forth putting it on and off. Um, so I'm sorry about that. It is early. <laughs> I am actually getting the water for the coffee and putting the heat on. So I'll let you guys listen to the music as I get the coffee prepared. to enjoy as you noticed I had to put the heat on it was cold when I first got up very cold I don't know if you could see here I had to put whoops I put some sweatpants on underneath it was chilly. I didn't want to get out of bed. Maybe that's a good thing for me. So I'm using the caramel macchiato coffee creamer. Let me get that away. We 
got our coffee. Oh, wonderful. Very satisfying. I am going to get my reading done and we'll see what comes next. Okay, my friends, it is time for breakfast. I did my reading, relaxed with my coffee. I am going to make a egg, ham and egg breakfast sandwich. So I will turn you around and we'll get this started. All right, I need to get my toaster out. I'll put it on, I'm going to put the sandwich on some toast. All right, I'm going to get egg out. All I need is one. Okay, so we got to start there. I am going to... Heat this up. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. Along with a little, a little bit of some butter. Okay. Let me get a spatula ready. All right. Perfect. I'm going to get my bread. Two slices, get them in the toaster. Now that this is melting, nice and hot, I have some Black Forest ham here. That's what I'll be using to put on my sandwich. Just going to get it in the pan to heat it up a bit. Whoops. That should be good. I'll throw in one more because I'm only using the one egg. I'm also going to add the egg, just going to fry it, perfect, oh, the toast popped up but it is not ready, I'm going to get a plate out, just going to heat up the ham. Get this egg cooking. I hope you're all doing well today. I apologize. I had to continue the video today. Uh, yesterday just got away from me really quick. So I figured I'd just continue it this morning and just make it a kind of like a two day thing. I didn't want to waste the footage that I had already done. So 
So the ham should be heated. Oh, there's the toast. I'm going to let that continue. And we got the toast here. I have some mayo. I'm just going to put some mayo on the one side of the toast. That should be plenty. Set that aside. Now I'm going to try to flip this egg. I'm going to break the yolk because I don't want to bite into a sandwich and have the yolk make a mess. It's only supposed to be in the mid to low 50s today, so it's going to be a little bit chilly. Yesterday was a beautiful day. It was a little, like, kind of hazy, though. All right, so we got the ham. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to bring back the toast. I'm going to add the ham. Perfect. Beautiful sandwich. Spread it out a bit so it's even. Drop my egg on top. I also have a slice of American cheese. I should have put it on top of the egg in the pan, but that's okay. There we go. I am going to cover it. Get all of this unplugged. So I don't forget. And I'm going to give it a cut. Look at that, guys. Delicious. So I'm going to just put this stuff away. The mayo and the ham. I'm going to grab myself napkins. And I'm going to, there's a look, there's some more coffee in my coffee pot. So I'm going to just heat this up a bit, what I have left. So I have some coffee with my breakfast. It's going to need a little bit more creamer. Once I get set up, I'm going to sit down in my chair and uh, we're going to chit chat for a minute. Okay, my friends, I am relaxing in my recliner. I know I'm going to get people complaining. This is why I am doing this chit chat right now due to certain comments that are just ridiculous to me. 
I have my sandwich here, yes, and I'm gonna eat here. Where I'm comfortable and warm, because it is chilly. First, I'm gonna get a bite of this. It is very good. Mm, I'm going to enjoy that. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. All right. First of all, I saw a comment from someone that complained and said they've been watching me for quite a while now and that she didn't they didn't mean to be mean or sound mean but uh I need to stop making the channel all about me I mean it's my channel it's Anna's mobile home life and all, all the way in the beginning of me doing YouTube, it was about my life. What goes on with me? Real life. This person had said, you know, that I need to, you know, I'm always complaining about this ailment, that ailment. Yes, it is my life. And sometimes I have to update you guys because sometimes I'm unable to upload any videos so that is one reason next uh it all started mostly about me being in the hospital with my liver issues i was good for a while then all of a sudden i started going downhill again i don't know what to say what to do which way to go which way to turn with this channel it is getting very frustrating and that is not the only comment. I had another one, which we'll get to. But you know what, guys? This is getting very old. Very, very old. I'm doing my best. This channel was always about real life. I don't know what else to do in the video. I mean, this is my life. I'm a single woman living alone. With health issues. Um, I don't have a vehicle. Where I could go around and drive around. And take you to stores. And uh, show you different areas and stuff. I don't. If I could. I would be doing that. But I do not have that. Opportunity. At the moment. And you all know. That it is not easy. For one person. To make it these days. Things are very expensive, and yes, you know, I, I am, you know, being very frugal now because I have to. I lost a lot of uh, my views and stuff through YouTube, so I'm not making or getting as much through YouTube to help me with the finances. I am not complaining. And I can't be relying on YouTube to help me get through everything. If there was another way, I would probably be working right now, at least part-time. I know somebody's going to say something about that. There's always a way to, to work or for transportation, this, that, and the other. I know somebody's going to come up with something. It's ridiculous. But I'm sorry. I'll be 59 years old. I'm not getting any younger. My health is way downhill. I'm exhausted all the time. And I am going to mention everything once again. I am exhausted. Most of the time, I don't feel good. I am not lying about it. 
And I'm just letting you know, you know, when you see my grocery hauls, it is limited because I have to watch what I'm doing. I am being frugal. I don't really buy anything for myself at all. Except I did buy that paint set, which was not a lot. I got almost the most inexpensive paint set that I could get. Um, even the paper. The paper is probably the worst watercolor paper you could get. But I'm just learning now. So uh, there's no problem with me having that. I am blessed to have what I have. With that said, I had another comment after my little haul, my last haul video. Someone had mentioned, you should have plenty of money, not smoking. Uh, you should have plenty of money for food, uh, especially now that you're not smoking. Two packs a day, that's... Uh, you know, they're just throwing out numbers. That's 20 bucks a day. First of all, I did not smoke two packs a day. Nearly, nowhere near two packs a day. It actually took me sometimes almost a week to, to smoke a full pack. So I was not smoking like a chimney. I was not smoking one cigarette after the other. A pack of cigarettes lasted me from four to seven days. I'll put it that way. So, <coughs> and I did not smoke the most expensive cigarettes. I, I smoked the, pretty much the least expensive cigarettes. And I don't need to explain, honestly. What I spent my money on is my business. Anyway, let's get to the bottom of this. The person said, you should have plenty of money. You're being frugal. You should have plenty of money now that you, uh, you know, smoking two packs a day, add that up, put that aside and see how much you come back, come out with every month. That's extra for food. They also mentioned, because I buy coffee creamer. Instead of buying that coffee creamer with all that sugar and bad ingredients in there, use the milk that you have in your refrigerator. Come on, guys. That is ridiculous. And then talking about what I make and what I cook and that I shouldn't be eating this, shouldn't be eating that. Come on. I am struggling now with the... I've been struggling with the quitting smoking... Do you guys expect me to quit smoking, quit drinking coffee, quit using my creamer, quit eating the way I eat all at once? There's no way. There is no way I am going to do that. And I'm not going to jump and do what somebody says. I am an adult and I will do what I want. I will purchase what I want. I will eat what I want. I will drink what I want. They also did mention, uh, someone had mentioned the iced tea. I quit my soda. And then I started buying iced tea. They're saying instead of using that sweet tea, drink water. Really? So I can't even enjoy a nice cold cup of iced tea or a glass of iced tea. I'm trying, guys. And I don't need anyone's approval. Yeah, I might complain. I'm, I Actually, I haven't complained. I'm just saying I need to be more frugal. Which everybody does these days. Even people with good jobs and that have a good income. You still have to watch what you're spending. I'm trying to... Be a lot more frugal because I would like to have a backup plan. Uh, money put aside for emergencies. Which 
you never know what can happen. I have a mobile home, things break. I mean, I gotta be prepared. I gotta protect myself. And if you don't like what I'm doing, as I've said in multiple, multiple videos, don't watch, unsubscribe. I've lost uh, sub subscribers already. It ain't gonna hurt me anymore. I mean, it's just ridiculous. I don't need to hear this stuff. I'm struggling as it is <clears throat> with my health and being single, living alone. That is my choice, yes. I want to be by myself. I want to be single. I'm better off that way. So with that said, I just wanted to, to bring this up that I am not going to stoop down and do what you peep, what some of you subscribers or just watchers are suggesting and telling me I should do. First of all, you are not my mom. You are not in charge of me. You are not paying what I pay. You're not paying my bills. You're not... Uh, you're not buying the food that I have. And I'm, it's a struggle. So with that said, my sandwich is cold, of course, because I'm venting again, once again. So if you don't like my videos, I apologize. This is my life. This is the way it's been. I haven't been cooking a lot. Maybe later I will upload a video making something for dinner. Just a quick, simple video. But with that said, <coughs> I have not been eating a whole lot of big meals or anything like that. I do have food. I have a bunch of chicken in the freezer. Um... I have chicken strips. I have that whole pizza that I could make. Um, I have pasta. I, I have food. I have vegetables in my pantry, canned vegetables. I have stuff for breakfast. So with that said, I am fine. I do have food. It's just I haven't been making huge meals. Maybe later today. After I upload this video this morning, maybe I will make something for dinner. We will see. With that said, I apologize to all of you wonderful subscribers and people that understand my life and what I'm going through and that have respect. And no, I do not expect all perfect, wonderful comments. I, I am going to, I have to expect uh, negative people saying what they feel. That's fine. But I'm just venting back to let you know that I am in control of what I do in my life. No one has a right. Let me know in the comments. Am I right or wrong to be venting and letting you guys know that my funds are my funds, my life is my life, and I will live it the way I choose. I am trying. Holidays are coming. I would like to buy my grandson something for Christmas and my daughter and stuff like that. So I am trying to, that's why I'm being frugal. This is the time of year where I need to set something aside, a little bit of money aside so I can buy gifts for my grandson and my daughter and such. That is important to me. My grandson is very important to me. 
and my daughter, and so on. So with that said, I'm going to say it straight out. Those of you who think I'm such a bad person, and I'm doing things so wrong, so horrible, so terrible. What I have to say is just mind your own business. And don't watch. If you're not happy, don't watch. There's no reason to be rude and ugly to someone. So with that said, I am going to enjoy my sandwich. And I am going to end this video. I will probably putz around with my paints today. That is my goal today is to just try to do something with that. I do have some cleaning to do. I did not want to do that on a video. I'm sure you guys get bored and don't want to see it. So let me know. I want you guys to tell me what do you want to see in my videos. If you don't want to hear my help, I am not going to bring it up anymore. That's why I didn't say anything today about my doctor's uh, telehealth visit or phone call about the medication. I am not talking about it anymore. Let me know what you think. Am I right or wrong? Or should I continue what I'm doing? And... Just let people say what they want to say, but I just needed to vent and let people know that I am not going to put up with it. If you don't like my channel, once again, I'm sorry. This is what I do. So I'm going to go. I'm going to enjoy my sandwich. I hope you're not offended in any way. I love those of you wonderful subscribers that say beautiful things to me on a daily basis and understand what I'm going through. That this is real life. I am not playing games. This is what's going on in my life. And I appreciate most of you. You guys are sweet, kind. Your lovely, lovely comments, kind words are greatly, greatly appreciated. It makes me feel stronger. It makes me want to get more done and to work on myself more. I appreciate you and I love you so much. I thank you for all the prayers and all the love. With that said, until next time.